tossing me the car keys, the patriarchy, keychain on the ground. We were always skipping town. And here we are again when nobody had to know. You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. They say all's well, it ends well, but I'm in a new hell in time. You double crossed my mind. The idea you had of me, who was she? And that needy, ever lovely jewel. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I literally cannot believe we have the 10 minute version of All Too Well. Like, as you can hear from my voice, I've been literally scream singing all weekend long. <laughs> we first found out that there was a 10 minute version of All Too Well, like during the 1989 era, and it has been like a joke forever that we're just gonna like bully Taylor Swift into giving it to us, and we did it. We have it. She literally recorded a 10 minute song and released it for us. Like, that is insane. I filmed my whole reaction to the album, so eventually I will edit all of that and put it up, but I just had to start filming these tutorials and get on it. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so, because I will be filming and editing like a crazy person this week, trying to teach you guys all of the vault songs, and I'm so excited. They are so amazing, so fun. If you guys want to see the tab that I wrote for this song, that link is down below. I have all 10 minutes of lyrics down there, all the chords, all the chord charts, strumming patterns, everything. And if you guys want to practice playing this song, I have filmed a full demo slash play along all 10 minutes and that link is also down below. That's going to be on my other channel and I have all the chords on the screen and the strummings that you could play along with me through the whole song. But yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so I have already done a tutorial on All Too Well, obviously. I did that like a year ago and taught the version that she plays live acoustically on the guitar that she played on the Reputation Tour, and it's going to be very similar to this, but there are a few changes and a few little things that I wanted to go over that are going to be slightly different with this extended version, such as different types of strumming, and also the outro is going to have a different chord progression than the first part of this song. So yeah, let's get into this. So All Too Well has no capo and the chords you're gonna need are C, G sus4, A minor, and F sus2. Now this chord progression usually, you know, you have your normal G and your normal F, but Taylor Swift plays this particular chord progression with suspended chords for G and F, and that just sounds better with the song, and that's how she plays it live. So basically for the whole song, the chord progression is going to be C, G, A minor, F, except the very end where it's going to be C, A minor, F, G, and that is just at the very, very end with the outro, the new part that she has on this version. Version. But I wanted to go over the strumming in more detail with you guys because there's a couple ways that she plays this song live now on guitar So far she's done two acoustic performances of the 10 minute all too well And she did that once at the premiere of the all too well short film Which is easier for me to see what she's playing and the strumming pattern without all the production because it's just her And then she also performed it on SNL where you can't really hear her guitar because there's a full band and everything You can only just see what she's doing. So Taylor Swift is always always doing a combination of different strumming patterns, down strumming, different things. She really likes palm muting, which is where you rest the very edge of your palm on the guitar at the very, very end, and it creates a muted sound but you can still kind of hear the chord. It just is supposed to make it a little bit quieter, different kind of sound, um, especially if she's playing the verses and she wants to build it up to the chorus where she'll play open strumming. Essentially, you wanna make sure you're all the way back here so you get the sound if you're up here. You won't hear anything. I have a whole video on palm muting and strumming if you wanna watch that if you don't know it. But essentially during the intro verses, Taylor Swift is doing 
palm muting and down strumming. I'm gonna give you two different ways you can do this down strumming. She's played this both ways. She just, I don't know, Taylor Swift is a very intuitive guitar player. She will play what sounds good, kind of plays by ear. So it's not gonna be one linear thing the whole time with her. And you know, I love to teach you guys how to play guitar just like how Taylor Swift plays it live because I think it really improves performance ability and just like, it's just fun. So when I think of down strumming, I think of it as a series of long and short strums Long meaning you strum all the strings, short meaning you're strumming just the bass strings. So for the first down strum pattern I'm going to show you, it's going to be long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short. And each chord is going to get one measure of the strumming, so one strumming pattern, four beats. So first we have C, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short. And then you switch to G. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, A minor, and then F. So that is just a basic down strumming pattern that goes really well with this song. But the down strumming that Taylor Swift seems to lean towards when she's playing is long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And then she'll throw in a couple extra strums here and there, but for the most part, that's gonna be the bare bones of it. We got C. So both of those down strumming patterns work for this song, so choose whichever one you like better or works better for you. I'll just demo it really quick with the first verse so you can kind of get an idea. I walked through the door with you, the air was cold, something about it felt like a home and somehow and I left my scarf there. You know, and then I'll do the other version. Left your scarf there at your sister's So the second way is kind of more of what Taylor does. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is a really basic strumming pattern that doesn't have to do with down strumming, doesn't have to do with palm muting if you're a super beginner and you just want to play the song. And this is a strumming pattern she also kind of goes to in the chorus as well. So this strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. That's super simple. Um, go to G, down, down, up, up, down, up. A minor, F. And you can play that for the whole song too if you just want a really basic, simple, slower strumming pattern. Now when Taylor Swift breaks into like the second chorus slash the bridge slash the instrumental in this song, she likes to do like very fast strumming. She kind of throws the down strumming out the door and just goes freestyle on this one. This is just me showing you guys all the different ways you can strum this song because I feel like it's the same four chords. So there's a lot of room to make it your own and add your own strum and I just want to show you what Taylor Swift does to make this song so great because so many songs can just have four basic chords but this song is just like absolutely insane especially if she knows how to perform simple songs to make them look so much more complex than they actually are so anyways for the chorus and some of the bridge and everything she does down up down up down up down up down down up now this drumming pattern goes quite faster than the other ones so I'll just let's do it a little bit faster so we got down up down up down up down up down down up G so with the words this is gonna sound like this I'll just go into uh, the first bridge so it goes She 
also does this for her second new bridge. Okay, so let's let's rewind a little bit. So if you guys want to go download my tab, I have this all in order with all the chords and everything with all the lyrics so that you don't get confused because it is a lot of lyrics now to remember. But essentially for until she goes into her second bridge, even with the new part, everything is going to stay the same for pretty much the whole song. The only thing that's changing is her strumming and her performance until the very, very end, like I said. Let's just go over the different transitions into the new parts because I feel like that might be helpful for you guys because I'm sure you guys know how to play all too well already if you're like looking this up. So this part where it's like, your mother's telling stories about you on the TV. You tell me about your past again, your future was me and you were tossing So it doesn't change at all. Just the the words and like the, the way she is singing is like a little bit faster than she was before. That's gonna be the same. And then when she's done with the extra verse, she returns back into it. It's um and you heal my lifeless frame and I know it's not good. Yeah, and then the second chorus is extended. So essentially you're just gonna do that twice So when she sings the one where it's like dance around the kitchen and the refrigerator light all too well And then she goes again here. We are again when nobody had to know same thing as the first part all too well Yeah Instrumental normal bridge and at the end of that goes into the second bridge and you're gonna stick with the open strumming pattern that I was going with when it goes I remember it all. working on the lyrics guys. Ooh, something fun that she does in the live performance when she goes to um, the idea you had of me, who was she? She strums and cuts that part. She will do a three down strums and then a cut. So she goes, the idea you had of me, who was she? I never need the ever loving jewel. kind of back into it. So she will mix in the down strumming with this strumming pattern as well as like that strum and cut thing. So again, if you want to do that part, it's one, two, three, and then you mute it with your hand. And then the second half, she goes back into the strumming. Okay, so that's kind of like all the normal stuff. And then she goes, turn in 21. And then time will fly it's back into that part until the very end of that like normal section, I will say. So the last line she goes, it was rare, I was there, I remember it all too. Not only is the strumming changing, the chords are gonna change, and for this last part, it's going to be C, A minor, F, G. And the strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, switch, and then you switch again, and then to G. That's gonna be the basic strumming for the whole time. Um, she might throw in a couple different things here and there, but that's gonna be the basics. So you're going to single strum that F on the last line of the normal normal end, and then go into this outro. Too well, and I was never good at still have to work on the lyrics for this part as well. Okay, so you're gonna do this chord progression three times for the first part of this outro, and then it's gonna change a little bit in the middle and then return back to this chord progression. You're gonna do C, A minor, 
F, G, three times, and then it gets to this one line where it goes, cause in the city's bare and cold, I still remember the first, that part's gonna be different. Let's just play this first part together, and then I'll tell you guys when it's gonna change here. But we got, and when you Brooklyn a skin, boards, I'm a soldier who's returned. And then we've got this part. You're gonna stay on C for a full measure, and then you're gonna stay on G for a full measure. So it goes, cause in the city's bed, cold, I still remember the first ball of snow and how it glistened as a bird. Okay, so for this part, C, G, F full measure here. And then she goes into a slightly different uh, chord progression here. So you're gonna end that out with C and A minor. So let's do that again slowly and we'll walk through it together. We got C. Cause in the city's barren cold, I still remember the first all and how it glistened as it died. So low. So you can single strum the F here, and then C and A minor is just gonna get one measure. Down, down, up, down, down, up, and then back to A minor. And then you're gonna do F, G, C, A minor. And you're gonna do that three times, and then it's gonna return back to the original chord progression for this outro. So we got just between us to the love and Two more lines of that, and so on this last line, it's gonna be just between us. I remember all too And then to transition back, she does a little um, down, down, up, down, down, up, and then she switches to G for one measure. So C, down, 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 up, G. This is where she goes into this outro part that repeats Wind in my hair, I was there, I was there And you're gonna return back to C, A minor, F, G But again, if you guys wanna see the flow of the whole song That you can check out the play along video It'll, It might help you with the transitions for all of these things um, Okay, so we got Just between us, I Basically, it just keeps repeating that chunk like four times, maybe five times, a lot of times, maybe, maybe like only four times. And then she just ends it with, It was where you remember all too well. On the C. But yeah, that's gonna be all the like new things with this song. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial breaking down the normal version, I already have that on my channel, like I said. And again, you can download the tab that I wrote down below and also the link to go um, practice this with me on my other channel. Yeah, and everything. Um, I'm so excited, guys, to learn all these songs with you. They are so fun, so amazing. Thanks for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, do you guys like my sweater I got for my birthday? It says Windermere Peaks Yacht Club 1989. Like, how cute is that? Yeah, what? Okay, my fingers are really sweaty. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. I need water. Oh my god, I need to take a break. I can't.